Okay, today we're going to make meatballs and gravy in our Dutch oven. So first we have uh, two and a half pounds of ground uh, beef, or it can be any uh, meat that you choose. Uh, we're going to add a half a cup of milk to that. We're going to add uh, one egg that has been slightly beaten. We're going to do a half a cup of onion that's been chopped. And then because we're cooking in the Dutch oven and you're probably going to be cooking outdoors uh, while you're camping, uh, that nature, we're going to take, uh, and instead of using uh, breadcrumbs, we're going to use crushed up Ritz crackers. This is a half a sleeve of Ritz crackers. Just put it in there like that. We're then going to add our spices. We're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, one teaspoon of garlic, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. We're also going to salt and pepper that just kind of to taste here. Now we're going to mix this all up. Want to make sure to incorporate the egg really well throughout your mixture. Okay, now that we have that well incorporated, we're going to just make these into, oh, probably about an inch and a half, two inch size uh, meatballs here. And we have our Dutch oven here that we've coated with a little bit of vegetable oil and we're just going to place them around in our Dutch oven. Okay, now we have our meatball mixture um, already made into the meatballs and into our lightly greased Dutch oven. We're going to move this just to the side and we're going to make our gravy. We're going to take one cup of milk one can of cream of mushroom soup, and we're going to just salt and pepper that to taste. We're going to whisk this up. Now that we have that well incorporated and mixed, we're going to just take that gravy mixture, bring our meatballs back over here, and we're just going to pour this over our meatballs. And then as this cooks, this is going to thicken and make a nice gravy for our meatballs. Okay, now that we have our meatball and gravy mixture all ready in our Dutch oven, we're going to take this outside and we're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. Now we're using a 14 inch Dutch oven, so to achieve the 350 degrees we're going to need 32 briquettes. We're going to put 21 on the top and 11 on the bottom. Okay, now we have our meatballs and gravy in our Dutch oven. We have our briquettes on top and on bottom. We've wrapped a piece of tin foil around to keep the heat in and keep the wind from cooling down our Dutch oven. We're going to cook this again for 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. Every 15 minutes we're going to turn the Dutch oven and then take the lid and turn it counterclockwise the other direction 90 degrees. This way it will give us even heating through our dish that we're cooking. Okay, now it's been 45 minutes for our meatballs and gravy dish. We're going to remove all the briquettes off the top of the lid of our Dutch oven.
And then we're going to take a whisk broom uh, that many of you might have for your camping anyways and just brush off the ashes from the briquettes. This just helps any ash that might happen to fall in as you remove the lid. Take our lid lifter and take a look inside. We have our nice hot meatballs and gravy there. We've got our camp potatoes here along with the salad to go along with our meatballs and gravy here. And this dish serves four to six people depending on how hungry they are. And we have this recipe on our blog. If you'd like the recipe, the link is in the sidebar. And if you have any questions, please let us know. And thanks for watching.